How you doing guys? Uh, new project just been mailed in by uh, one of my uh, YouTube uh, um, followers as we say. He seen my video on YouTube and liked what I did so he sent me his shoes. Uh, thank you Tommy Paradise, you know who you are, thank you. Um, so let's see what he sent me. Well, I do know what he sent me because he, he told me. I'm showing me a picture of him. Let's have a look. Alright. Oh, nice dust bags. And they are Crockett and Jones. Made in England in since 1879. Now I'm a lucky one of the lucky ones because obviously I'm from the UK but I used to work in Northampton quite a lot and I got to visit the Crockett and Jones factory and I visit I visited the part where they actually send the shoes back for repairs and I actually worked one week there this is going back years must be 25 years ago it was a long while but I managed to do that I was working I was 25, 30 years. I was working for a company and they sent me there just to see how Crockett and Jones do it and all that so I could go around and show the shops and everything how they doing it and how we should be doing it basically and all that sort of anyway so I know about Crockett and Joneses so let's have a look at these oh very nice Crockett and Jones and I think they're the Marvins the Marvins Marvins Yes, very nice. Yeah, Marvin's. You can see that inside there. Very nice. Tommy, you got big feet, my man. That's a 12 and a half E. Anyway, what he wants me to do to these is I'll uh, let the uh, phone ring. A, f a full JR leather sole and a JR heel. Get back to you in a second. All right, let's get these shoes started, but I've started them anyway. So I've pulled the heel blocks off. Lovely, nice stacked leather, pure leather, very strong leather, very, very nice. I've just scoured the stitching off some people cut it off but I'm this one I'm actually just gonna scour the stitching off because this, the soles were, were still all right so they're a little bit thick and there was no actual uh, break for me to uh, find the sides so it's, you can see it's just as easy doing it this way Always tell good quality shoes as well because the heel rind which is the back piece which I'll show you in a second that's the sole off the heel rind which is this piece here which the the sole sits to and then the heel blocks are adhered to nine times out of ten they are either rubber or plastic these are leather ones so they're in good condition so they don't need to come off and if you keep them on there it keeps the shape of the shoe uh, so the cork, cork is pretty much okay, but I'm going to take that out and put a new one in. Um, so I've done that one. Shanks are okay, just a bit loose, so I need to glue that in. Basically, I'll glue that back in. Same with the other one, took that one off. Shanks in good, good, good condition. Cork's in good condition, but I'm going to clean it out and do new ones. So yeah, so... Next thing is to do is clean all the stitches off, clear the uh, the cork out, and uh, re-glue this 
this wooden shank back in as you can see it's falling around so that wouldn't have given very good support basically so yeah let's just just glue that back in place before i go on to the next part of the video They use like hot glue when they do it and then when it dries obviously when it cools down it actually glues itself together so that goes in there just slips underneath the hill the hill rand so it just slips under the hill rand so that's all glued in so i'll get back to you in a minute thanks Okay, back again with these beautiful Crockett and Jones shoes I'm doing for a, a mailing customer, Mr. Tommy. <clears throat> I've taken the cork out. I'll just put some new cork in there, letting that dry, and then I'm going to sand it all off. This is one I've done. So, new cork, sanded off, ready for the new soles. And as I said, the new soles, the soles I'll be using, uh, using should I say, whoop, is the JR Gold. So I'm going to prepare these, get these ready to put on those. I'm going to scour the, I'm going to trim off all the cork off the other one, get that ready, and I'll come back to you when I'm ready to put the soles onto the shoes so <clears throat> it's moving along and um, yeah so I'll see you after I've done the cork and um, actually I think I'm going to actually give them a quick uh, clean and nourish and polish with some shoe cream and I'll come back to you when I'm doing that okay thanks very much bye bye okay welcome back uh, so all the new cork has been put in all right and sanded down stitches taken out next thing i'm going to do with the shoe because it's got a few little marks on them and you know keep them nice and looking good here's i'm going to use some tiago shoe cream on these give them a bit of a, a clean they look in pretty good condition anyway, but I like to do this for my customers. So I'll get a microfiber cloth. Just a little bit on there. And give these a bit of a recolor. Because this puts the color back in. It'll get rid of some of the scratches and marks and whatever. I'm not saying these have got them, just but when you use shoe cream, this is what you do, and you've got to really you know work it in stay in a certain area sorry about that my battery died so can just carrying on with the polishing of the shoes as I said just concentrate on one area really you know push the cream into the leather which is going to be nourished with it Just concentrate on those areas where it's a little bit marked because eventually that will just push in. And then just let that dry for 10-15 minutes and then come back in with your horsehair brush and you can shine it up with that. Let's do the other one. Just a few little minor 
you know minor marks on the on the back of the heel if you can see any out there see those we're going to polish those out put some color back in they're going to look 95 once they're done i mean they're already in good condition he obviously takes care of his shoes um But this is just going a little bit extra. I want to make sure that when I know I've sent back the shoes, I've done everything that I feel is correct. Um, they might, the customer might have a different aspect to it. They might clean theirs completely different to what I do. But with the creams, you haven't got to strip anything off. Basically, he can just carry on cleaning them the way he does. Um, so yeah, so. This is just a, a little bit of a precaution and uh, something that I do on all my shoes. All right, so I'm going to let that dry now and then uh, give them a quick buff with my horsehair brush, which I can't see at the moment, so I'm going to have to find that and do that. Um, and I'll get back to you and I'm putting the soles on. All right, so I'm used, I, on those I used the Tiago cream and it's called brandy the brandy color okay and it's ideal for those all right thanks very much how you doing back again right we're going to put the soles on these beautiful croc and joneses all right we've got the jr they've been glued they've been under my heater for a while Gonna give them a bit of a squirt of water. Just to make them a bit more supple. As you can see, look, they're nice and supple now. So, what we've got to do, we've got to get this logo in the middle of the shoe. So, put the toe right, right at the toe. Put it right on there. Look down the shoe. And we should get that spot on, hopefully. Well, there's only one way to find out. It's on there now. And this is what I like about these soles. Look how quick that water has dispersed. It's coming out. If we use the, the standard leather, which is like this, you give it a squirt and the water, look, it doesn't absorb and doesn't dry out. It just stays on there. This absorbs it, dries it out because it's been tanned for so long, you see. Okay, so. And then to seal, I mean, we've got a machine over there that's, you roll it and it seals the, the welts to the to the sole. But it leaves dreadful marks on here, so I don't use that. So I just put the side of, of my last and I bang the welts. Squish them together, get all the air pockets out so we can get them nicely stitched. All right, yeah, they're all tightly fitted. But what I do use on that over there, the machine is the cutter because if I try and cut this, I can. I have to put a new blade in my knife and then risk it slipping into my chest or even losing a finger sometimes. So I'm going to use this, okay? This is called a five in one, and it cuts off the excess. Like so, so it cuts off, and look, it looks in the middle, 
Okay, so I'm basically going to trim around the sides and then I'm going to stain the sole. No, I'm not. I'm going to stitch it, groove it, stitch it, sand it so it's nice and it's nice in one colour and then stain the sole. But what colour stain am I going to do? <laughs> well, let's wait and see. See you in a bit. Hey, how you doing? So, after we've grooved the soles, they look a bit dark and lifted up and stuff. So what I do, I get a piece of sandpaper and I actually sandpaper the groove all the way around to make it nice and smooth, get all the dark colour out of it. And then I will sand the sole, will stitch the shoes and then I will stain them. I have done one, as you know I've stitched one, well I've actually sanded it and stained it but I want to keep it a, a bit of a surprise to the end if I can because um, I want to work out the colouring that I'm doing it, I have coloured it already I'm pretty pleased with it, i um, going to do a little bit, you know, uh, bunking work on it which is the, the, the shapes I'm going to do on the on the shoe so um, yeah so when I've done this I'm gonna stitch it stain it and then I'll get back to you when I'm putting the heel blocks on because I want to keep it as a bit of a surprise okay so if you can see like I've sanded that there it's looking a lot better so I'm gonna go on to the machine now flatten this edge off all the way around because it's actually lifted so you can see it stops because it's, it's lifted there where it's pushed the leather out so I'm going to sand that off and then um, I'm going to go from there all right so speak to you soon bye bye let's give this a go Alright, so I've stitched the sh stitched them. Very nice stitching. Yeah. Gonna give it a squirt of water again. Mm -mm. Use a piece of wood. And iron out where you did the stitching. Make it all like glassy and shiny. It makes a subtle difference. I like doing it. 
it just makes it makes it look a little bit different you know it folds makes it all nice and smooth and flat so i'm gonna let that dry off now which won't take long i'm gonna sand the sole and then i've got to decide what color i'm gonna stain them i mean they're a nice color the sides were dark brown before so i'm gonna do that again um or I might do a natural finish the natural finish look quite nice in these i think but we'll see so whatever sides i go with is the, the what i'm going to determine what i do with the bottom all right okay so we're getting there slowly but surely i'm going to get the other one done now and uh, i'll get back to you when i'm going to be sanding and staining them all right let's continue basically um i've started i've colored the, the shoes obviously not finished they're drying they're going to be polished out but also i'm going to be putting these triumph toe plates on and how you do it is you get it into the position that you want obviously just hold it with your finger you mark it with a sharp object i've got a pair of tweezers you mark the line where you want it yeah and then you take a sharp knife and you cut obviously on the line you just made but then you have to start shaving the leather away to get to the correct thickness of the tips which I am doing now And basically the, the the thickness you're gonna need is basically just down to where the stitching is you don't need if you're gonna cut into the stitching it's too deep so you look at the thickness of the the tip itself and you cut that depth so I've been doing that because it does take a while and you can see yeah the stitching still intact you get your tip Bun it right up, sits flush, and then basically you mark it because this is very very tough leather, and you've got to pre pre stamp the holes. I use this. you've got the holes pre-done and then you take some brass screws and you make sure that they sit flush in the triumph plate right and these ones don't sit as flush as you want so you get a drill bit yeah so sorry basically you get a drill bit and you're just going to countersink the holes to make them slightly bigger. So not a lot. Because you want them to sit nice and flush with the shoe, the, the plate. So we make sure that they sit nice and flush. All right, like so, yeah. And then we're gonna screw them to the shoe. So let's just Swap the drill bit over for a screwdriver, the Phillips head. 
All right, so try it plate on. Oh, and by the way, I put a little bit of stain around the edges, so when it's on, you can't see the the leather so underneath. It won't be, it won't be. Uh, uh, you can, you can't really see it. So let's get that get these on here, shall we? All right. Okay. three all right so they're on there so now we're going to trim up the sides and that's going to look magnificent all right okay so I'll get I'll get on with the rest of them and get back to you soon so continuing on I've raced ahead of you I've stitched the soles I've stained the soles I'm now polishing up the soles and I'm going to show you in a second what they look like. Let's give the, the bottom a, a bit of wax, give it a bit nice shine. Let's let this one dry. And I've also put the toe plates on. What do you think? Looks quite nice, don't you think? Toe plates in the front. I've got to put the heel blocks on yet. I'm just waiting for those. I'm going to be doing those. Later, here's the other one. So basically I've just put that wax on just to buff the, the sole up, give it a nice shine. Yeah, nice shine on that. So, I mean, it's very hard to get the stripes exactly the same, but I think it looks pretty damn good, I think, anyway. And that's going to go nice with the, the colouring, because we're going to colour the sides the same colour, the black, the, the brown, should I say. So it contrasts, it contrasts into the sole. Yeah, I'm going to put the heel blocks on. Uh, the JR heels and then I'm gonna use some brass pins on it so it all looks pretty damn good I think all right I hope Tommy you're gonna be good with these you're gonna like these took a long time on them okay thank you hey guys how you doing almost almost finished with these shoes I put the heels on the heel blocks yeah, you notice I've still got to go around the sides and polish all those because I do that separately because I tape up the shoe and all that. So that's that's all that's finished. What do you think? That's that one. And then there's the plates, the heels, JR heels. Yeah. So all I've got to do now is smooth the sides. Paint the sides, polish the sides, repolish the shoes again, and then they're ready to go. And I'll get back to you when they're finished. All right. Not bad, eh? Thanks. See you in a bit. Okay, so we're back. I've just just gone around the machine. The sides, yeah, and I always tape them up, and then I'll get a nice fine sanding block and I'll go around the sides, get them nice and smooth, and then I'm going to put some brown dye on the side, 
and then I've got a, a leather wheel which is just all leather and it will shine these sides to like a high finish which I will show you after I've done it so there is a lot of stages I go through to do these there's people out there that charge for the same repair charge literally two times maybe a little bit more than two times for this 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 job I've done um, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to give you a price on here because I don't want, obviously, the owner of the shoes doesn't want everyone to know how much he's paid to have these done. So, all right, so that's it. I'm going to polish these now, and they're going to get they're nearly done. Thanks, mate. Okay, so I've just finished one one shoe. There we go. That. Very nice. So that is the shoe finished, apart from me taking the tape off and polishing the shoe and buffing it all up. Very nice. Thank you very much. And if you like my video, like Tommy did, who sent me the shoes, please try and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, like and share on my YouTube channel. Um, you can. In, I've got Instagram as well, which is the dot prestige underscore cobbler, or you can go on my Facebook page, which is City Hall Shoe Repair Shop slash Prestige Shoe Repairs. Yeah, I'm done. Um, so at the end of this video, there'll be pictures of both shoes, and maybe a, a video of going around them again, just to show you what I've, I've polished them up and everything. So thanks very much. And thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye. Okay, so we're, we're finished, we're back with the shoes and the finished project. All polished up, lovely. Sides. Yeah. Toe plates. Sides. And the other one. Toe plates. Nails finish. All done. So yeah, thanks very much. Um, hope you enjoyed that. They look fantastic. So they're going to be now. I'm going to put them in their dust bags and ship them back off to the owner. Thanks very much and goodbye for now. Bye bye.